Diana, the Princess of Wales, was a major figure in both the British monarchy and public throughout her life. Born in 1961, she emerged as one of the leading figureheads in the world of aristocratic fashion, and would find herself swiftly becoming a public celebrity icon. Since her early beginnings, Princess Diana has become one of the most influential names in fashion. Following her marriage to Prince Charles in 1981, Princess Diana would see wide fame for the wide variety of pieces that she would sport during her time in office. No matter what decade the United Kingdom entered, Diana would see herself at the top of the trickle-down fashion hierarchy and would often popularize all kinds of trendy looks for each era, much like Jacqueline Kennedy during her iconic period as the US's first lady, a topic which I've made a video on already. You can watch that one in the card above. Whether sporting, minimal effort, active wear, or expensive, special occasion gowns, fashion fans everywhere seem to admire her unique and trend-setting style. So, let's take a look at a few of Princess Diana's most famous, iconic, and popular outfits from the 80s and onwards. Of course, we can't start a Princess Diana fashion analysis without firstly covering her stunning 1981 wedding dress. That year, the Princess of Wales would work alongside famous designers David and Elizabeth Emmanuel to create this awe-inspiring piece. The ivory-colored taffeta dress followed and expanded upon the trend of puffy sleeves in the 1980s. At a train length of some 25 feet, it being the longest dress worn in the history of the royal kingdom, and it featured a number of different elements. For one, it was a sequined dress with a large lace trim, a ruffled neckline, and a total of 10,000 pearls across the entire outfit. She would wear this dress alongside her famous Spencer tiara and a 153 yard long tulle veal. It's quite possibly one of the most excessive, eccentric, and expensive wedding dresses in modern history, and it makes sense how this would set the overall tone of her period as princess. Following her wedding, the princess would leave the Eastleigh Airport in Hampshire, England, to go on her honeymoon, wearing yet again another iconic outfit. Her dress, a light flower wrap gown, was designed by Donald Campbell, Diana's fashion designer, and she would wear it along with an ivory pearl choker. Furthermore, she would don the dress with a large white trench coat, in the form of a notch lapel double-breasted suit jacket. It was one of her more iconic get-ups, and definitely earns a spot in this video. Continuing on the topic of dresses, let's take a look at her famous pink gown. While on a state reception trip to Australia in 1983, Princess Diana would sport a tiered pink dress with shoulder straps held down with shoulder ribbon ties. She would also wear the Spencer tiara and a set of necklaces and sapphire earrings that visually matched it during this event. The gown, designed by Victor Edelstein, would become widely recognized for its layered style. However, flashy gowns were not the only famous outfits the Princess wore during her reign in Wales. In Florence, Italy in 1985, she would sport a bright red Jasper Conran skirt suit, a double-breasted jacket with wide notch lapels. The suit has two slanted flat pockets, and it goes down a pretty long distance layered above a knee-length red skirt, red sheer stockings, and red heels. In fact, red was a major part of her wardrobe. She was commonly seen wearing luxurious red dresses even before her marriage in 81. Red coats, dresses, gowns, plaid shirts, and more were all big parts of her closet, and they were many times worn in an almost fully red ensemble. Another dress she would wear during her 1985 trip to Italy was a white pinstriped dress designed by Catherine Walker that was structured very similarly to the red one I just covered. The piece featured notch lapels, two slanted, jetted pockets, and was double-breasted with pairs of buttons running down along the front. The dress's shoulders were also roped and padded and she wore it alongside a white navel hat. One more dress I'd like to take note of is her iconic 1985 ballroom gown, which she wore while dancing with famous actor John Travolta. She wore the full-length shoulder strap gown alongside a pearl choker during a visit to the White House. It became one of her star looks and one of her most recognized dresses. Princess Diana also nailed the casual style of the 80s as well. In July of 81, she would model a two-piece outfit made up of a pair of pastel yellow overalls and a light floor Oral polo top. 
alongside a pair of red espadrille wedge heels and a pair of oversized sunglasses, which were a trend in the 70s and 80s partly due to Jacqueline Kennedy's celebrity status at the time. In June of 1985, the princess would wear a high-waisted, knee-length blue floral skirt with a tucked-in and tiered white top with puffed sleeves, again very 1980s. She would match this set with a pair of red flats and a same color red waist belt while attending a Sir and Sester polo match. Another famous 1980s look Princess Diana would sport was in June of 1986. During another polo match, this time in Windsor, she would wear a red-on-white polka dot skirt that drapes below her knees, with a crew neck sweater with tightened sleeve ends. She would also sport socks of a matching pattern to the skirt. Princess Diana is a major name in the world of fashion. Her influence as both a social and political figure, with the two usually going hand in hand, allowed for her signature style to excel and catch the public's attention. She modeled all kinds of varying elements, pieces, sets, and outfits that varied from monocolored to heavily patterned. Doesn't matter what she wore nor how she styled it. Every outfit that caught the public's eye managed to set some sort of trend and catch the attention of visually captivated onlookers everywhere, making her one of the world's biggest fashion icons.